Hello Aquarius, welcome to the channel and uh, well I, I, I would like to say guys, so hello, hello guys, welcome to the channel, Brad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and uh, Aquarius Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for January 28th to February 3rd 2019 and uh, as I am uh, shuffling the cards I want to once again remind you that that is going to be a, a general reading for Aquarius star sign therefore it's going to resonate in a different way in a different level with every single different Aquarius so for that reason in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but ultimately uh, you will have to align that general reading with your personal situation <clears throat> as uh, that way you are going to achieve more bigger accuracy and uh, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed through tarot just like I'm do by me just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing so what we are observing here is, is that we do have a couple trees one in the prime position which is the uh, general topic of the week and then we do have one more here into the core of the situation so we are talking about uh, cooperation we're talking about many people doing one thing we're talking about many people working over um, one common goal and so what happens here in this week is that you are either going to be pulled in a, a big project or a, a big social event or uh, this big social event have already started and now uh, you are going to let's say enjoy the development of this social event because the tree of cups as a, a topic of the week it is that it is a um, it generally represents uh, exhilaration and it represents a lot of uh, overflowing joy but that overflowing joy doesn't come by its uh, by itself it does comes through a as I said cooperation and cumulative experience so it's more like a, a teamwork type of week than a, a singular one now the more you spend time with others the more you work with others and the more you know you interact with others as well throughout the week the more you will start to um, how can I place it the more you will be able to make your things thinking, the more you will be able to grow and the more you will be able to expand your visions as well because the tree of cups here is pointing that two heads are better than one, you know, two heads are thinking better than just one head so many new ideas could come at your disposal as well or many new solutions for that matter also could come at your behalf which are going to allow you to break through with uh, your current problems should you have any additionally the three of cups is pointing that this is going to be a very touching week uh, a week in uh, which you will be able to just lay it all out you know what bothers you where are your problems for example if you do have problematic relationship here this card points that you are going to find someone to lay your soul your soul in front uh, sharing everything that you have experienced into your relationship and uh, seeing the support coming from the other side here giving you courage you know giving you emotional support and in generally uh, making you stronger I don't know how to describe it really but it's kind of like uh, having a faithful companions at your behalf which are to help you face whatever predicaments are there for you throughout this week and throughout many weeks to come around only thing that it is asked from you it's to uh, just keep on going with this cumulative or rather like a uh, yeah social cooperation that we do have at our disposal and then that is going to be the seven of pentacles accompanied with the tree of cups and definitely we are talking about a um, 
slowly slow but steady resolution of your current problems through as I said the new ideas flowing through this cooperation so many things are going to make you consider and question yourself or like many people will make you consider and question yourself for example if well if uh, excuse me if we are following the example with the abusive relationship you know maybe someone that you are cooperating with throughout this week is going to basically open your eyes and uh, make you consider why you are doing it you know and that could be a, a changing point in your uh, romantic life giving you the strength and the guts you know to make an opposition into this abusive relationship and likewise uh, into your career let's say facing a um, severe difficulty in one of your project cooperating with other people is going to be the productive and uh, the a uh, beneficial way of how you can find or figure out a resolution to those predicaments and issues that you are facing in your project. What is important here with the Seven of Pentacles combined with the Three of Cups is to know that the insight of how you can resolve your issues and in generally the vision how you can do that will come through cooperation and through um, mutual experience that you can have with people that cares for you. So this week is going to be you surrounding yourself with such people so they can help you overcome your issues. And that is further displayed here by the Tree of Pentacles because uh, with the Two of Pentacles because the Tree of Pentacles does represent support through development. So we truly have a <clears throat> a social circle or a bunch of friends that cares for you and they want to um, they want to basically see you happy and with the tree of pentacles however their feedback or rather like their um, their advices that they're going to give you are kind of are going to have some sort of a uh, criticism type shade I mean uh, you may not every time you may not be every time happy of what you are to hear from them coming from their mouth. If we are following the abusive type of relationship example, um, someone from your social circle may say that you are a fool, that you are very stupid, a uh, furthering down the endurance being in that relationship. You know, they may um, they may insult you even to basically make you wake up because if they talk to you in a gentle way uh, you may not kind of like wake up yourself so they were they're going to have that harsh tongue so they can really wake up your um, your primal senses of self-preservation if I may express myself that way and additionally on that having the two of pentacles here it does point of that these people are going to open your eyes so much I mean they're going to make you see that what you're doing or kind of like in the fields that you are facing difficulties you are facing those difficulties because you did the worst possible decision all right but it is not too late for you to traverse that decision and actually this time around to um, to decide for in your favor because uh, the two of pentacles does represents the the playfulness is that represents that everything it's uh, it's it's not in flux or it's in flux i don't know yeah it's in flux and things are not yet being decided therefore it is not too late for you to back away it is not too late for you to kind of like uh, differentiate from your previous decision and etc etc basically these people will show you that you can grasp upon the small upon the small changes that are happening around you and through these changes actually to traverse and change everything uh, everything in this situation which appears to be poignant for you so basically what we do have here guys is that everybody that cares for you is going to fight for you but it's not going to be productive if you don't fight with them as well it's going to be futile if that's the case so ultimately will come to your guts and to your determination to do what 
what is needed to be done in order for you to overcome the issues that you are facing either career-wise or either relationship-wise. But with this reading here, one is certain that you aren't going to lack any, um, any support. There will be many people cheering for you there and kind of like guiding you as well, supporting you with whatever they can, mostly with, uh, with fruitful conversations, cooperation and advices as well. But as I said, ultimately it will come to how determined you are to overcome uh, these issues and will you be able stream and will you be strong enough as well to fight with them? Because that could be as well, you know, if you are following the abusive uh, relationship or the abusive marriage, that could be everybody that is around you, uh, you know, that cares for you. It's urging you to go for a divorce. But if you don't have the strength here to file for it, it's basically everything is going to be futile. So, again, you will not lack the, you will not lack the, uh, the support. But you need to make the first step here so that support can start kicking in. The next card that we do have, this is the challenges that are causing predicaments. And that will be the uh, King of Cups with uh, the Magician card. So what these cards are representing is the uh, sense of readiness. It's kind of like uh, uh, when I saw this card straight away. It's uh, one thing came to my mind. It is like uh, these cards express me very well when I want to buy myself a technology. So uh, when I want to buy myself a technology, I'm always trying to wait for the best possible technology on the market, you know. But there is always better one, you know. I mean, you buy something, you buy a new TV, and three months later there is even a, a better one. What I'm trying to say here is, is that if you try to wait for the perfect timing, there is no such thing as a perfect timing. There is a favorable one and this favorable one. Uh, and if you wait for the perfect one, this ain't gonna come. So you need to kind of like grasp the one that gives you way out. No matter how bad that way out looks like or kind of like how imperfectionate that way out looks like, you gotta grasp it because these couple of cards are pointing that that is going to be the predicament for you. You may try to weigh out to to wait for the perfect conditions and for the perfect circumstances, but the magician card itself deprives you from such circumstances. That it it kind of like deprives everybody from them because the magician is pointing that the initiation is important what follows after the initiation it is how you make it right so basically just make the first step here and afterwards you are going to figure out you you are going to figure it out as you go along the uh the king of pentacles it is a card of emotion on top of that and it's, in this specific case, it does point that it will be difficult for you guys to tame your emotions, not to make an emotional outburst and not to, um, how can I place it, um, not to make stupid decisions out of uh, emotional outbursts. For example, uh, if you uh, have the opportunity to, let's say, um, make a retribution or make a revenge revenge on someone emotional revenge and yet the professional or rather like more calculative uh, decision is to wait it out or just forget about it just because you having a hard time to uh, tame your emotions you may do the bad decision here throughout the week so you will find it as i said very difficult here to be emotional in checked all right and on top of that to act upon sight instead of um, staying still, enduring what you are enduring right now and uh, uh, waiting for the perfect moment because that perfect moment is not going to come around ever. There is no such thing as a perfect moment, right? There is always something that it kind of like puts a, uh, a shade of doubt in one's undertaking and it one's a prerequisite. I know that matters here is how bad you want a way out, 
right? How badly you want it. And uh, that will define what your week is going to be. I mean, if you don't find the courage within yourself to act upon the support that you do have from many people around you, well, then you will have to endure the same, pre pre the same predicaments, excuse me, that you are enduring right now. And this week, January 28th to uh, February 3rd is not going to be any different than the previous week whatsoever. But if you decide that your support is enough and you can now, you know, you have the means necessary, even though not an, in an ideal uh, circumstances, to make your move toward uh, personal happiness and in, in, in toward personal emotional satisfaction here, either career-wise or relationship-wise, then I do believe that there is nothing there that it is capable to stop you in one way or another. The last card that we do have for you, Aquarius, is this is going to be the five of uh, the five of wands. That is a, a guidance card with the emperor, which points that if you uh, no, if you they, these cards guidance wise are pointing that no matter how chaotic your uh, initiation may look like very quickly afterward you will be able to kind of like uh, establish control upon the chaos because the five of wands this represents chaotic environment very dynamic routine as well surprises popping up from here and there competition as well and uh, uh, confrontations and etc etc but from the other hand the emperor breeds control the emperor breeds uh, <clears throat> solidity the emperor it's kind of like ruling with an iron hand so what you're going to do here is uh, as soon as you take on that initiation you will quickly learn how to rule the chaos around you and uh, only this is in the in the book theory of chaos and it is written there only the weakest are seeking order the strongest they prefer to rule the chaos so what you do have here Aquarius is that from a little weakling that you were in this particular situation you can become the strongest in it right so from a very insignificant person for example for one project you can become the person in this project right from a, an insignificant palm into your relationship you can become the one who dictates the rules right but again you need to have the guts to act upon all that support of development that it is um, that it is given to you and the, and for example if this was a, a reading for let's say i don't know from my for my country all right i would have said that that is going to be the revolution a, a leader who was oppressed by that very moment is taking on the riots or rather like it's taking on all the support that they do have and they dethrone the current government let's say and they are taking over it's in kind of like they are ruling the chaos so it's kind of like that from a complete outsider from a complete underdog should you take advantage of the support that you do have throughout this week you can become the one who dictates the rules into your situation so that being said, Aquarius, that was the tarot reading. Now let's see what the Lenormands are to say for you. They are to show us a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or uh, try to avoid. All right. Let's see. So the first card that we do have, this is the lilies. And the lilies is standing for elders, it's standing for a family, it's standing as well for sex, or it's standing for material gains. Then we do have the, uh, the path. And the path usually stands for choice, right? So choice that you need to make. And then the next one, this is going to be the book. 
and the book it, st it stands for knowledge it stands for something secret so what I can say here is, is that you have to decide upon a secret about your family that you are going to learn and you need to make you are going to learn the secret that resides within your family and you will have to make a decision for it how to uh, how to act based on that information that you are um, that you are obtaining or uh, in, a, in, a, in another way of interpretation you are going to find out that someone wants to make sex with you and you will have to decide here how to capitalize on that information so that being said Aquarius is this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading uh, and uh, as I said this was a, a general reading for Aquarius star sign and for that reason this general reading is going to resonate in a different level with every single different Aquarius. If you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me just like I did uh, for the few examples in this video then that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.